God card. So let's start at the beginning. The Two of Cups. Cups are emotions. Two are balance. Um, this could be the re uh, relationship space. That's what I'm really feeling for you, Virgo. This is a, a relationship space. If it isn't a lover, it can be a very close friend. But it looks like you're ironing out some things within this relationship, either upgrading it or speaking your truth about something that doesn't work, trying to resolve something within this relationship. It is next to the death card. So it, uh, for many of you that have been contemplating staying or going, um, you may get clarity whether you should uh, release this relationship or not. And for many of you, it could be your love partner or a friend. could be a family member that has been in your heart, but it is not working. But there is some resolution coming, either releasing it or improving it on this relationship space. But for many of you Virgos, it will be your love space. So I'm feeling, um, should I stay? Should I go? That you will get clarity. It feels like this month you will get clarity. The Empress, uh, the Empress crosses you. And for many times, the Empress stands for not only new beginnings, but planting a seed it can be pregnancy, wanted or unwanted, whether it's yours or someone else's next to you. It is next to uh, the two God cards, so it may be um, nurturing a new idea, creating a new body, um, or creating a new job of some kind. So there is new beginnings here. It's either a nurturing of an idea, but it it very well can stand for pregnancy, either yours or someone very close to you. Um, it is crossing you, so it feels like it may be a surprise. So whatever this new beginnings is, it's a bit of a surprise to you. Uh, it looks like some ending had to take place for this new beginning. Uh, to happen. And for those of you not looking to make children or making sure that you don't, uh, this could be planting a new idea to start your own business or travel or finally take that, you know, yoga class that you've been wanting to do. Something that benefits you and something new that will help you grow. Um, and so that seed is being planted right now. The Ace of Cups is what's above you. I love aces. Aces are like divine intervention. They are, when we are on our path, you have two very strong, one in the future position and one that is above you. So it looks like a lot of your ideas that you've had over the years, you know, you pulled from this place, that place, this person, that person, they're all coming together. So it looks like either a grand idea or a way of life or, you know, retirement, something big that you've always wanted to do that you've been putting energy into a little at a time, little at a time. It feels like that there's light at the end of the tunnel and that you are absolutely, absolutely creating that uh, situation, job, love relationship, but it's big and it's a big shift and it's something you've always wanted to do and you're brave enough to jump through the fear to start the ball rolling. But it looks like a new endeavor, Virgo. I don't know if you're changing jobs or retiring, something like that, or moving to a foreign land. But it looks like you're right on track. You're collecting information and you're seeing the rewards of the hard work that you've done over the last six months. So Ace of Cups is emotion. So something that uh, brings you great joy. You planted the seeds a number of months ago, maybe even years ago. You're starting to see your hard work pay off. Um, but it does feel like motion, like travels involved. Um, as I said, it could be a foreign land and maybe some of you are moving to a foreign land. Um, the water is lighting up for me here. So it may be just visiting some place that's, uh, that's water, you know, going back to the mother, the motherland, something like that. But it's, it's a big shift of something that you've always wanted to do. And it's within reach. It's right there. It's starting to be incorporated. So don't give up before the miracle happens, Virgo. Keep going one foot in front of the other. The death card is here and it may stand for a physical death. It may stand for the death or the ending of a relationship, uh, whether it's a partnership, a business partnership, love partnership, 
Uh, it can stand for a physical death. For many of you, I feel like you may have just experienced a loved one going into the light or passing uh, from 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 this lifetime into the other side. Um, so it feels like a definite ending of something, but it's right next to the God cards. So it could be, you know, one job ending. So the other one can, can be there for you or, you know, everything not working out with the house that you're in and you find the house of your dreams, you know, or, or things that you put into motion years and years ago for retirement are now you're, you're, you can see the benefits of that. Um, page of cups here. I'm feeling this is messages. Um, I think that has a messages to do with your new endeavor and your new desires, your new passion, uh, whatever it is. The Ace of Swords here, uh, swords or, or, or swords are, are air, uh, contemplation, taking those ideas from your head, putting them into play on the a physical manifestation so you can um, move that along so it can manifest on the earth plane. So you have to take it from your head, do a little work, you know, sprinkle some some water over that seed. So it, it feels like you have to do just a little bit more effort or communication with someone to really make this dream come true. Um, but it's right there on the tip of, of, of your awareness and it is moving in toward that kind of bliss place. And it's something that you really, um, always wanted to try, always wanted to do. And it may be with a hobby that you've had, a gift that you've had that you have not shared with anyone else. And you may be sharing that gift, whether you're an artist and you've decided to put your work out there and let other people enjoy it. Or um, say you do, you have a physical gift. Maybe you are an athlete and you want to share that wisdom with someone else. So it's about sharing some of the gifts that you have and the wisdom that you have with others and really being welcomed. And it looks like it's right on time. It's right on time. So don't lose the strength in all of this. The magic man is right here. This is one of your own empowerment and really trusting your intuition, trusting your information over anyone else's and really getting in tune with your magic and um, getting rid of that um, little voice in your head that says that you're not enough. You are enough. And um, just knowing it and keeping the vision of where you want to be and how you want to do it. Just keep that vision and uh, really getting in touch with your own magic, whether that's meditating, um, exercising, you know, um, or just speaking your truth and, and changing some of your karma. Um, sometimes it's just a just takes a little bit of effort to see that whole shift and really um, being more secure in your own decisions, being more secure and more in tune with your own magic. So the lover's upside down. So you may be having a little bit of issue with the person of your heart. There may be a little static in communication or to tell you the truth, dear Virgo, you may not be with the right person. It can be anything from as simple as an argument to finding resolution or that you are not with the right person. Um, the Ace of Swords is right here. It is right here. So that leads me to believe that there is something big that is happening within your relationship that is not in line with your spiritual growth or their spiritual growth. Uh, for those of you who are not in relationship, it may be time to really look at whether you want one or not. And if you do, how you're going to go about it. But it does look like there is a little spiritual hand in all this. There is a little karma being played out. So you may be with someone that you are releasing karma or creating more positive karma. And you know, with the, with the ace cards, it can go either way. But with the lovers upside down, that dictates to me that there is an issue that needs to be resolved. So find your strength. Speak your truth. Uh, strength card also can stand for a Leo. So if this is with a Leo person, that that may 
dictate that that you're having a little discord. But for the most part, Virgo, it means really gathering your strength, saying the important things, um, and see what the changes will bring. It doesn't necessarily mean that relationship is done and over with. It just needs it needs to grow and move with the two of you. You know, we all grow about, well, if we're lucky, we all grow about every seven years. So we have to, uh, or within seven years, we are completely different than who we were seven years uh, prior. So if you've been in a long-term relationship that really hasn't moved and changed with the growth patterns of the two people that are in it, then those changes need to be addressed and looked at. Uh, for many of you, though, it may be that you're in the wrong relationship. Um, so walk into your strength and whatever the change is, uh, be strong enough to communicate what your needs are in that in that change. Um, so a lot of changes coming for you, dear Virgo, a lot. And they're big, heavy ones, mostly all beneficial. The outcome feels very beneficial. These are all positive cards. The um, struggle looks like it's a little bit here that's happening now, um, a little bit with the lover's card. But um, I believe there's resolution right at the right at the end of your fingertips. As long as you uh, speak your truth, don't cave in. Have your boundaries uh, really certain. I know that that was something you were working on last month. Virgo is setting those boundaries. And um, so this is kind of more of the same. It's more practice of the, here's my boundary. There's your boundary. Let's find something that works for both of us or letting go of the situation that doesn't work for either one. So the strength will come into play. It's hard to have those conversations sometimes. And sometimes it's even hard for us to think about it. So um, walk through that fear. Have those conversations. And it looks like temperance. Finding your temperance. Finding your balance. Once you have um, that change in place and you're kind of focused on where you want that to go, your temperance, your balance will come back. It looks like you've been a little bit out of balance uh, for the last couple of months, maybe um, being the overdoer for others that create chaos in their life, kind of cleaning up other people's chaos. But now it's really try time for you to look at your own stuff, balance what you can, heal your heart, this um, orange triangle is lighting up for me. And as I ask spirit, it looks like, Virgo, you're, you're healing your heart from a lot of the pains and trials and tribulations that you have felt from past relationships, whether it was a love relationship or, you know, your parents, your siblings, uh, friends, but you're healing yourself, uh, taking what worked, leaving what didn't, and really learning from the past. You're really learning from the past, and you will probably get tested a little bit. Uh, whenever we really get something, spirit goes, oh, are you sure? Are you sure you want to stop drinking? Here's some free beer or something like that. That's a, that's just an example. <laughs> but uh, spirit kind of tests you on your decisions to make sure that you're on that road. But you've got two really solid karma God cards. So I, I think you're firmly planted, a lot more firmly planted than you have been in the last couple of years. Uh, the eight of wands here, this can depict really ideas shooting down from the heavens, um, picking and choosing what works for you and what doesn't. It also can stand for uh, releasing yourself out of old agreements, uh, looking at things that worked, behaviors that worked for you, habits that didn't work for you, and continuing on just kind of doing a psychic cleaning the closet thing. What works for you, what behavior worked for you, uh, can be uh, visiting addictions um, or um, behaviors that were not beneficial for you or for your body. Uh, so be careful of tests. It's only a test. But it's, it's a time for you to revisit some of the changes that you already made to make sure they're in line with your highest spiritual growth. On the other side is the Page of Pentacles. You have two pages here. Um, I think one has to do with an emotional connection. You may have gotten a message from someone prior. Um, 
or reconnecting from, with someone from the past and a message, it, it can come in the mail, it could come on the phone, it can you can overhear it in the grocery store. So be aware and be open to all areas of getting information. A page of pentacles is, is feeling more like messages about money. So I'm not sure if some, some deal that you've been working on will be finalized or clarified, but it feels like it has to do with money. And you'll be able to see how to resolve either this problem with money, whether you're earning it, whether you're getting sponsors, but you'll get some clarity on money and how that will work uh, moving forward into the future. Okay, Virgo, that is your reading for February. I'm going to throw a couple of clarity cards. These are uh, chakra cards, which I've used prior. Impatience. All right, dear Virgo, that pretty much says it all. Time to be patient. Time to let spirit work in its magical way and bring things to you. So find your patience um, and turn off that impatient person in the middle of your head that wants it all yesterday and realize you are perfectly on path on your path um, looks like in some of your love space you have a little bit of insecurity this heart is lighting up for me um, little temptation little insecurity around your love space so that kind of falls in line with the lovers being a upside down speak your truth um, find resolution if you can. Do not be afraid to let go of a relationship that no longer serves either of you.